Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup, but this time we're doing Captain Your Country on it. Um, this time I decided to be Emil Heskey because there's been a, quite a few people that have suggested Emil Heskey, and I was like, you know what, that could be quite a good episode. Um, last episode we did Balotelli. I'm only going to do one player per video. I'm not going to make it so that I'm going to win the World Cup with these players or anything. Maybe in exceptional circumstances I might but I just want to keep it one player, one video sort of thing because that's what the other content is for to win the World Cup with smaller teams and stuff like that. You know, like Heskey, he's rated 78 here. Um, you know, we could make him into a world-class player even though he is pretty much an ordinary world-class player. I mean, you know, in the meme books, you know. But I'm going to randomise the groups. Uh, who we got there? So England, Holland, Georgia, Denmark, Ukraine and Latvia. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Okay, so we got B internationals. Okay, so we, it's basically starting off like it was last time. So again, um, I'm a B international, um, and I gotta wait, work my way up to the actual team. Emil Heskey, you've been out of form recently, so I selected you for the B international where you'll be assessing your form. First match then is against Scotland. A nice derby game for Emil Heskey to get warmed up. I love how it's like actually like centered on the player as well. That's really cool. Like. That's awesome. See, this game is just exceptional. It really is. And even so, in the crowd, look at the crowd. It's a B international um, B international um, fixture, and there's not many people in the crowd. It's looking like the Etihad out here right now. You know, this England B squad, I mean, it wouldn't really be much of a B squad, really. I mean, David Beckham's there, Emil Heskey's there. Um, I'm fairly sure I saw one of the top defenders in there as well. So it's not really like a B team. It's going to be interesting doing Captain Your Country with um, teams like San Marino and, um, you know, smaller teams that have famous players because, you know, like, you're, you're just going to be hit on the break constantly by these bigger teams. I don't know if they'll actually put you against uh, bigger teams or not. Oh, Emma Heskey taken out there by the Scottish player. Referee deems it as nothing doing. Oh, Emma Heskey. With the touch, with the shot, oh, just saved by the Scottish keeper. We could have had our first goal there. I'm thinking for this video, we'll do like four or five matches in the B International, and we'll see if people want to continue it. I mean, the Balotelli one was good, but I feel like if I did another video, then I probably wouldn't have um, qualified for the team. Here comes Emil Heskey, and he scores! Heskey has scored, and that's his first goal. The B International has scored, I mean... People will be talking about this for years to come. Emil Heskey, a goal against Scotland B International. You have to love to see it there. He just ran through everybody and slotted it in. By the way, if you're wondering what difficulty this is on, it's on world class. Oh, that was a great ball. Now here comes Heskey. He's got three people around him. That's what it takes to stop him. And he gets slidden out there by Weir. Will he get a yellow card for that? Nothing again by the referee. The referee is letting everything slide in this match. How old would have Heskey been in the 2010 World Cup? I mean, obviously he went there because he was actually substituted on against um, Germany when we were losing 4-1 or whatever it was. But, like, yeah, it's... Like, he must have been on the fringe of retiring. Look at Heskey here. The power, the pace... And he almost scores there. I'm being a bit selfish here with my shots. Like, seriously? That's another slide tackle. And um, another yellow... Well, actually, no, the first yellow card. A really terrible tackle there. So Darren Bent is coming on for Agbognahor. So up top, Darren Bent and Emil Heskey is the dream lineup. A horrendous tackle. Again, he's going to get sent off. He really just wants... To start beef against Scotland, he really wants this to turn into a proper derby. And Jaggy Elka is sent off in this match. Doesn't help us one bit because I didn't even tell them to slide tackle or anything. I don't even know how to tell them to slide tackle. That like the computer just did that out of maliciousness against Scotland. Oh, they're gonna go for the shot. Oh no, it's fine. Heskey's got it. Here comes Heskey now. He's bombing down the pitch here. There's no one to stop him apart from this guy. Oh, he ball rolls in. Look at that. The flare by Emil Heskey. Oh, my God. Just tackled away. It, it needed, like, maybe, like, you know, 
a few players to stop him. Let's have a shot. Oh my god, you could just see how close that was, that shot. Emil Heskey turning into one of Europe's finest hot prospects here, even though he's like, what, 36 years old? <laughs> So what was that tackle all about then? Another red card for England, didn't it? This is a proper derby now. I mean, wait, that was Lescott and he only just clipped the striker there. Was that worthy of a red? Probably not, but okay. Well, I'm in the wall. Julian Lescott's been sent off. And I think that's full time. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is full time. England win 1-0 against Scotland thanks to Emil Heskey's goal. And, um, well, people are going to be talking about Emil Heskey for a long time. A 9.0 rating for my first match. See, I'm more used to this game than I am 2014. So at the moment, I actually went up by 7 there, so I'm a fringe player now. So I'm breaking onto the squad, just. Second match for Emil Heskey is away in the part of the France, I guess. So I'm guessing that is. And it's a rainy night, you can see it. They're already wet, even though they just come out the um, tunnel. The two managers shake hands. Fabio Capella's like, Heskey's going to have you, mate. That was a decent ball, but Boonsong's got me covered. Seemed to be in his pocket at the moment in the first 30 minutes. I better not be offside. It's a good play by Emil Heskey. Oh, just sliced it right. That was a great tackle by Carrick on the edge of the box. And over the top, yes, please. we love to see that. Emil Heskey's in behind. But he just needs to turn inwards. Oh, try, I was going to try and do skill, but I was like, no, I'm just going to go for the shot and hopefully it'll just go in. But uh, that was poor decision making by me. That's a really good ball. Is that offside? No. Heskey was not offside. Heskey is in some brilliant positions, but he just cannot finish it. He should have squared it to someone there. Oh, that's a horrible challenge by Lescott. What is the England defence doing right now? In two games, we've had a lot of fouls from these guys at the back. Lescott gets a yellow. It's just, you're not going to break onto the squad with defending like that. Oh, he saved it. Nice one. Nice one, Foster. You'll get on the England team with that, those kind of saves. Of course you will. Brilliant save. And players as well. But here comes Benzema. And he... Oh, I was about to say, he almost scored. But... It's the per and they scored. It was this guy. I don't know his name. Uh, Horal? Horal? Horu? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I've never heard of that guy. If someone would actually enlighten me to his career, that would be great. Well, we lost against France and um, obviously not a great result. But, you know, it's France. So they probably chucked on a few of uh, their first team players. They had to done. We're against Greece in this third match. Another rainy night for Hensky to try and show up in this. He hasn't been amazing. I mean, the first game feels good. Good tackle by Jaggy Elka. And that was a hell of a ball to Young. Will Young be able to finish this off? No, he doesn't. Stop hacking players out from behind, England. How many yellows have Jaggy Elka and... Um, Less got accumulated in these three matches alone. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh my god! Oh my god, I accidentally pressed the B button to tell Carrick to shoot. You saw the little icon come across my character and he just lobbed the great keeper from like 40 yards out. Oh my god, it just like, I, I, I was like, you know, ready for, I don't know why I pressed the B button, but Carrick just scored a screamer. An absolute screamer. I mean, it just came off of here. This this player he passed it to him, and Carrick. I accidentally told him to shoot, and it just lobbed the keeper and went straight in. One nil to England. Come on. I mean, I had no part to play in that other than accidentally play, pressing the B button. But brilliant goal by Michael Carrick. So half time, and thanks to Carrick's wonder strike. It is 1-0. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Especially by the computer. To take it that sweetly, like the AI doing that, that's mad. Heskey. Oh, slide tackle there instantly. They don't want him to score, do they? They want bad by M or Heskey. Can he shrug off this defender that's all over him at the moment? Oh my god, I just can't get through. I just can't make my way through because he's not fast enough. Carrick with the shot again. I told him to shoot that time. Shoot, Ben. Shoot. Great goal. Great goal. 
we didn't do anything in that, but you know what? As long as the team wins, that's the most important thing. Well, we got the win against Greece. We didn't score. We were kind of a spectator in that game. But at least we got the win, and that's the most important thing. Next match is at Wembley for this one, and it is England versus Germany. And we all know what happened when Heskey faced Germany last time. You know, the song Heskey makes it five. So, you know, we could see that here, maybe. Maybe Heskey could get all five goals against Germany. Decent ball. Heskey's got it. With that in, oh Well, we're doing more than what we did against Greece, that's for sure. Maybe because, you know, we're at Wembley. You know, the home crowd's got us fired up. Keep going. Use that power. And Heskey just goes wide. Unlucky, boy. Unlucky. Capello is not impressed. Some of the passing that happens at the moment is just straight up ridiculous. Oh, great ball to Emil Heskey. Great ball. Can he score? Heskey. Oh, oh my god, off the bar. That was unlucky by Ashley Young. Oh my god. Oh, that's not bad. Not a bad save by Heskey and uh, just over the bar. I'm getting cut out constantly by Fritz and Torsten Frings. I really am. It's just, it's just constant, like, you know, oh, they just scored. That was horrible defending by England. And Helmet scores in the 65th minute. To make it 1-0 against England, I don't think Heskey's going to make the squad, to be honest. <laughs> I think at the start of the game, it told me I needed an 8.0 rating. And I don't think I'm going to get that right now. But I'm several bits below it. And we bumped into each other there. And I was trying to make a play. We bumped into each other. And this is basically where we're at with England right now. Ah, oh, Heskey coming close there with that shot. He's an 8.1 now. So that was a great tackle, by the way. A fantastic tackle. Lay it into the middle. No. Okay. Have a shot, Jermaine Tunis. Ah. Oh. This is just frustrating because we're not making the plays. We're not making those plays that we need. Heskey. Oh, just wide again. What is this boy playing at? But he's got a nine. He's got a nine. He's quite hungry. Oh, my God. The boy just cannot score. The boy cannot score. And it's just a shame. It's such a shame, man. Like, we could have scored in the 90th minute to make it 1-1, and he just cannot seem to score. I know it's against Neuer, you know, a really good up-and-coming goalkeeper back in 2010, but seriously. Well, we just lost against Germany. Wait, great. You know, the fans are going to love that in England, aren't they? Oh, terrible. Terrible show. Okay, so we got a qualifier now against Ukraine. I'm hoping I'm part of the squad. If not, then the next one would be Mexico. Um, I don't want to do all the matches. Okay, so we're actually, we're actually, uh, part of the squad, I think, because we're actually playing Ukraine in the... Here we go then, against Ukraine in a qualifier. We have to turn up here, otherwise we'll probably get dropped. But this is going to be the last match of the video, because you, you kind of get the gist, you know. I'm just trying to make Emil Hesse good, and it's not quite happening at the moment. But at least now, we're on the first team, and this, like... Surely the first team is way better than the B International that I had to play with. Heskey crosses it in. Rooney's there. Off the bar. Of course it was. We cannot get any more unlucky in this gameplay than we have right now. Tumashuk fouls me. I keep getting fouled in this gameplay. And it's just like... like it's, but England seem to get penalised for it all the time. And it's just... Why? Why is it like that? And they slide me out again. Like, they've been getting away with that all game. All game they've been getting away with that. So thank you for actually, you know, giving the yellow card for that. i just got my head in my hands right now because England are terrible. They really are terrible at the moment. They're just not linking any passes together. They're not doing anything. I know we're away from home, so that might be a factor in this performance. Look at this, I'm getting ganged up on there by the Ukrainians. Uh, I mean, we won a free kick here, but the Ukrainians have been relentless defensively. They really have. Heskey hasn't had anything. Hedda! Oh! He scored! He scored in the 90th minute! I didn't even realise that Gerard was going to pass to me, because literally, like, uh, I thought he was going to go for the shot, and Emil Heskey scores in the 90th minute. What a way. 
What a way to finish this video. What a way, because honestly, I didn't expect him to. The, the camera panned over to me, like Gerard made the shot, and instead it Heskey just heads it, and it hits, well, it didn't even hit anything, it just went into the back of the net. Heskey has won it for England, and it looked like he just fell over, to be honest with you. But wow, what a way to end this game. Heskey, you legend, and thank you, Stevie G. Thank you so much for that assist. You could have gone for the shot. You didn't go for the shot. So Ukraine lose thanks to a uh, Heskey header. Absolutely brilliant. So Heskey has got two goals at the moment in this Captain Your Country. So anyway, I'm going to end the video there after the fifth match. I really hope you've enjoyed this despite the lack of goals. But you know what? It was somewhat entertaining. I, I hope anyway. But anyway, if you did like this video and if you want to see more Captain Your Country, then hit the like button and subscribe. Keep it loco. And I'll see you again for the next video.